Shalom, coming to you in the name of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai, Hashem, Hakadosh. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders that great millstone who taught me the truth and salutations unto the Hakim that continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. I just want to come at you with this quick, uh, impromptu video. And lately, or well, this week, I've been, you know, reading through the Psalms, man. You know, the scripture says, "Come from ye one another with these words, man." And we know that the songs, the the Psalms. Uh, in the Hebrew, the Thalalium, the songs, man, you know, they're prophetic, but they also comfort our spirits, man. Um, so, yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to entitle um, this one, For yet a little while the wicked shall not be, which is taken from uh, the 10th verse. But I just want to read through Psalm to 37th chapter and speak on it a little bit and then I'm going to be out of your way. So this is Psalm 37, a Psalm of David, and it says, Fret not thyself uh, because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Okay, and who's the ultimate evildoer? Uh, um, the, the devil, man, the deceiver. Okay, the spiritual, the, the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan upon the earth, which is the so-called white man. The biblical nationality being the Edomites. Okay, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. You know, and that also goes to Jake, you know. Because you got evil people that just like, amongst amongst um you know the Israelites, man, and that's where the judgment is gonna start with, because the Lord said judgment shall start at my house. So the demise of wicked Israelites, you know be first before any other nation, man. The Lord's going to take them out. That's why people are dying. You know, Jake, be dying out here, man. You know, trust in the Lord and do good, so thou shalt dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. <laughs> You know, and the Lord is going to give us the desires of our hearts and more than we can even imagine in full, in completion when, in entirety when, in the kingdom. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and the judgment at the noonday. Rest in the Lord, the Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Who's that? That is Esau, man. We ain't got to fret, we ain't got to get angry, we ain't got to be anxious, we ain't going to be upset. Why? Because it's going to come to pass, man, you know? And he, 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 <laughs> he great, he, you know? These fucking Edomites, they're the ones who bring wicked devices to pass, man. But the Lord says, fret not, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evil doers shall be cut off. Okay, and after they say they serve slavery for a thousand years in the kingdom, guess what they're going to be done away with, man? And their spirits will come back filtered through the other nations. But as for Esau, Edom, that will be done. You know, so they're eventually going to get cut off after they've served the fulfillment of their slavery in our kingdom. <laughs> for evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, they shall inherit the earth. Which is who? The elect, man. All of Israel starting with the elect. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be, you know. Thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Because that's what we're going to have in our kingdom, peace. The scripture says, they shall learn war no more. The wicked plotteth against the just, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. So guess what? Our father... You know, above, and his son, our Messiah, Yahweh Shai, they're laughing at Esau, man. You know, you know, angry as fuck, but at the end of the day, our, our power, man, our, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is laughing at wicked because he sees his day coming. And the Lord knows what he's about to unleash upon this devil, man. You know, the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be up of upright conversation. And in these last days, the upright conversation is what? That the men of the Lord on the highways and the byways and on this internet pushing the truth. 
and they're gonna they wanna slay us. Their swords shall enter into their own heart. Exactly. That's the missiles, man, because it's gonna be to their own destruction. Then your house is gonna come and add more fire to fire. You know, as Ben as Banyamian says, man. You know, the tribe of Benjamin, more fire. <laughs> Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bow shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than riches or many wicked, you know. So, guess what? <laughs> Even, oh man, that's deep. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. So, guess what? In the entirety of things, when you have a spiritual outlook on it, even in our poverty right now, we're living better than the richest people of the world because <laughs> we hope to be unto righteous but that takes faith to believe man <laughs> i'm gonna say that again if we be of the elect as we are the hopeful elect we're living better than the people that have riches of this world right here right here right now even in poverty we're doing better than them <laughs> that's crazy man a little that a righteous man have is better yeah than the riches of many wicked for the arm of the of the wicked shall be broken but the lord yahabashim shall uphold if the righteous the lord knoweth the days of of the upright and the inheritance shall be forever they shall not be ashamed in the in the evil time and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied you know which we know is coming you know both satisfied spiritually because we have the word and satisfied physically because the Lord will provide. The Lord says he's going to lift up a standard when the enemy comes in like a flood. You know? But the wicked shall perish and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall they shall consume into smoke. They consume away. Like, you know, lambs were sacrificed and stuff. Um, Yeah, man. You know, for such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth. In fact, let me miss a verse. Verse 21. The wicked boreth and payeth not again, but the righteous sheweth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and his delight, and he delighteth in his way. The Lord touches and commandments through faith in Yahweh Shai. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and I am old. You have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil, and do good, and dwell forevermore. Because we're going to live forever, man. For the Lord, because we did good upon the earth, man. You know, we're not going to die no more. That's why the scripture says, death, where thy sting, or grave, where is thy victory. You know? For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his power is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord Jehovah Shai will not leave him in his hand nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land which will be the land of Israel and the whole world and all the universe. Uh, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace, but the transgressors shall be destroyed together, and the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteousness is of the Lord. Which is who? Salvation from the Hawa comes through who is son Yahweh Shai. He is their strength. In the time of trouble, the Lord Yahweh Hamashiach is our strength in time of trouble, man. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. Barak the man, this is heavy. Barak the Yahweh Shai. The Lord shall, um, the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in Him. You know, this is the hope that the Lord has given unto us, man. You know, so with that, I'm gonna wrap it up, man. Brakthe Hawashim Nashai, Rasham Rakakudash, Shalom.